Hi everyone and welcome to this snack size episode talking about how to keep organized inside your blueprint for Unreal Engine 4. So I see a lot of blueprints in my time teaching games development and they usually are in a mess. Okay, we've got lines going all over the place and boxes everywhere, commenting everywhere. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little video, a little snack size video talking about some of the ways you can use uh, organization to keep yourself from going insane looking at blueprints. So um, here we go. So the first one, the first one is collapsing. So for example, we can collapse complex codes or complex uh, blueprints here into single functions or macros. So for example here, let's say we take this move right uh, function here. Now, obviously this isn't very, isn't very complicated or very big, but just for the sake of this video, imagine it is. So what I can do here is I can select all these items here and right click and create a collapse to function. And now it's made a new function in my functions list and this can be called something like moving right. Yeah, and there you go. So if I open this up, you can see that exact same code is here. It's just attached to our uh, function instead. Now you can see it automatically added our scale value as a parameter. That's because when we did it, if I can undo, you can see the axis value is gone into scale value there and it's built that parameter from that. Okay, so that's one way you can do that. The second method is collapse to macro. So a macro is a bundle of nodes that uh, you find yourself repeating yourself with. You can save yourself repeating them by storing them as a macro as a sort of a shortcut. And you've seen a macro node that before. Uh, for example, a for each loop is a macro. And if you double click on it, you can see the contents of that macro. So here we've got the inputs and going through the logic of how for each loop works. Now, you can make your own macros. For example, we can use move right again here. But uh, as, as I said, this is quite a basic example. This could be used for more complicated stuff. But if we right click, we can do collapse to macro. And you can see it appear in your macro list in the left here. And this is different from a function in the sense that it doesn't execute like a function. It executes like it's a, a continuation of that line of code. Okay, So you can open it up and see your contents. Right. So there's a third collapse. And a third collapse is collapse to nodes. So if you select these nodes here, or you select this whole move right here, I can right click on this and go collapse nodes. And I can name this one, move right. And this is a collapsed graph. So it's a graph within a graph. So if I open this up, you can see this graph here. Next, we have commenting. So commenting are these boxes that you see in a lot of the project defaults. And to do it, you select all the nodes you want to be included in the comment and hit C on your keyboard. And that'll put a comment box around the whole entire thing. And it's usually ideal to type in what this uh, box is containing. So here I can put in movement. And the benefit of a, a uh, comment box is that if you move the box, it moves with it. And we can customize some things over here on the right hand side, such as uh, the text itself, the font size, the color. So you can change the color of the box if you want. And uh, it also changed the color of the bubble that you see here. And you can color it to match what you got on your on there. And also change the move mode. So this is group movement. So this moves everything inside of itself. If you want to just move the comment, you can move the comment and so forth. And that could be quite useful if you are, say, working in a team and you want to um, indicate someone to change something. So if you're leaving notes over, over people, I could make a comment box and put this around here and say, a uh, gym fix this okay and I've now noted his work and said hey I need you to fix this bit here okay for example next we've got comment bubbles so alongside grouping these comments together you can also put a comment on each 
node. So if you're not too sure what a node is doing, or you want to communicate to someone what a node is meant to be doing, if you hover over a node, you'll see these little three dots appear. Click on that, and they can type in a little comment. This will get the actors right vector. And now you've got a little note there for anyone else that wants to read it. Or yourself even, if you want to remind yourself in the future what you did and why you needed to do it. Again, this could be useful for um, commenting and noting uh, what work needs to be improved, changed or tweaked for later release in your team. Next, we have uh, graphs. So you have an event graph, which is what you see typically here. Uh, but did you know you can actually add multiple graphs? So if you go over to the graphs list on the left hand side, you can click on new graph. And hey, Pesto, there's your new graph. And you can say, okay, this graph is all about my abilities. And now you put in all your abilities in there. I can even copy stuff over. So for example, jump is an ability and also shooting is an ability. So I can cut those out and put them in the abilities graph. And that's it. That will just work exactly the same as this event graph. You don't have to do anything else. It still works as if it's one. It's just separated out a bit easier for you to find stuff and you don't get too cluttered. You can spread out your work a lot better. And the last one I'm going to show you is the reroute node. So to add a reroute node, you can add a point on any line by double clicking. And that is a reroute node. And we call it that because it allows you to reroute the line away from anywhere you want. You can also add multiple. And it works just like anything else. So you can select them both and hit Q to straighten them out. You can also have multiple lines coming out of one reroute node, depending on what it is really, but multiple lines typically coming out of one reroute node, and you can alt click to disconnect them as well. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you've learned a little bit more about organizing yourself in Unreal, and saw some ideas of how to get yourself organized and a lot cleaner to find your work easier uh, when making your games. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch more videos like this before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash where you can watch loads of videos uh, before anyone else, access to Discord channels, as well as many other benefits too. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.